Hey guys, I'm Krista from Davy and Krista, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you three different ways to make menus in Show It. Today, we're going to focus on three different types of menus. First is a traditional horizontal menu that includes all of the different links right at the top of your page. Second is a menu that has drop downs. So if you have a lot of pages and you need them all up in the main level of your website, this might be something that you need to create. And third is a menu that pops open when you hit a button. So this could be a mobile menu or this could do something like we did for our design La Pelosa. And you probably won't need to use all three of these tutorials, so feel free to use the timestamps below to jump to the different segment that you do need. All right, so first up is the traditional menu. This is the most simple to create, and this is the one that we end up creating the vast majority of the time. It adjusts well between desktop and mobile, and if you have fewer than seven items in your main navigation, this is the way to go. So let me show you how to create one. So I have our Palm Springs design pulled up and I'm just gonna show you how exactly how I made this. So on your show it site, you're gonna add a blank canvas and then I'm gonna pull it up to the top of the screen. I'm actually gonna put it other under this welcome message right here. And just so that we don't get confused, I'm gonna turn off this one for now. So I'm gonna hide it on desktop and mobile. This navigation header doesn't need to be quite so big, so I'm gonna make it smaller and I'm gonna add a title or a logo. So your logo here, and I'm gonna drag this over. Your logo probably wouldn't be that big, so I'm just gonna say your logo instead of your logo here. And we'll left align it, and I'll make this box smaller. And then for this particular site, I'm gonna lock it to the side of the page. So let me show you what happens when I preview that. If we hit preview, that means it's always going to be all the way over to the left as opposed to kind of floating in the middle about here. Um, and depending on the site you have, that might work or might it might not work. If you're going to center your logo, I probably wouldn't do that. Um, but if you're going to align it to the left, I think it looks good. And then next up, we need to add our links. So I'm going to add a, I'm going to use a subheading design but we want to make sure that we set this to be navigation instead of a heading and i'm going to start all the way over on the left so i'm going to make my box smaller and then i'll double click it and type contact next i'm going to align this to the left and then i'm going to lock it to the left again so lock this one and then this is important you want your boxes to be pretty small. You don't want them to be so small that they start like acting funny like that. But once you have several different links, if they have bigger boxes that are overlapping each other, the links aren't gonna work. So you wanna make sure that they're fairly small. Next thing I'm gonna do is add a click action and I'm gonna take this to my contact page. And for some reason, this keeps getting a little bit bigger. I'm gonna just keep making it smaller. Okay, so copy, paste and then I'm gonna drag it out, holding the shift button so that it stays in a line. And then I can do my next page. So we can do blog. And then this would link to the blog. And I'm gonna make this box smaller. And then copy and paste. And just double check that these boxes are not getting too big. So I need to shift this one again. Let's say we had a portraits page. and take this one to our photos page. I don't actually have a portraits page in here. And we can just keep going with all of our links. So maybe we have about weddings and maybe we'll do a home page. I'm gonna drag and select everything and then make sure that they're aligned to the top as a group and I'm gonna pull them down a little bit. And I'm also gonna even out the spacing in this whole header. So I'll do something like that. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that these boxes aren't overlapping and I'm gonna space them out evenly. So my trick for doing that is to make a rectangle and I will use it to measure the size between the different items. So. 
we'll make this smaller. And then I'll pull this one over here and I'll bump portraits in a little bit. This one looks like it's good. This one looks like our about page needs to come over. And this one looks like it needs to come in a little bit too. So I'll make my home come in. And then I can delete that. And for some reason, they just keep getting bigger. So if that happens to you, just keep making them smaller. Eventually they should all stay. Um, and then if we hit preview, we have something that looks like this. If you were going to do something like this, you'd also want to make sure that you format it for mobile because right now you'll see it's all overlapping. So we can just line them up vertically like this and I'm going to drag and select everything, align them in the center. I'm going to pull this guy down and then I'm going to drag and select all of these. And since I know that the boxes are all the same size, I'm going to hit distribute and I know that they're all going to look okay. Um, oh, one other thing that I like to do, I like to link the logo or your logo type to the homepage. So you can just select it and hit page and then home. And you can do the same thing if you have an image that you upload it. The last thing that we want to do is give your canvas a name and make it a site canvas. So I'm going to turn this into header Krista, just for demo purposes. And I'm going to make it a site canvas. And then from here, you can copy and paste it and put it on all of your pages. And that'll ensure that if you make an update to this file, it updates on all of the other pages and you don't have to update it individually on each one. All right, so that is how you make the traditional horizontal menu. Next up is gonna be a drop-down menu. I actually have an older tutorial teaching you one way to make drop-down menus in Show It because they're not native to show it so you kind of have to do a few extra tricks to get them to work but since then I've discovered another way that you can do drop down menus and show it I'm gonna preface this and say that drop down menus are not ideal they don't work on mobile and they can be a little bit finicky you'll see when I start to build it that they're not done the way you would probably expect them to be done so whenever possible, I try to avoid using them. Um, so that might mean that you make your pages a little bit longer or that you have more links down in your footer where there's probably a little bit more space to add more links. I do know that there are some instances, like in the example that we showed for St. Patrick's Church earlier, where you just need a lot of pages in the main navigation, and the only way to get that to happen is through drop-down menus. Okay, so let's head back to our site. So we're gonna head back to our header file and I'm gonna start by adding an icon because we need a little icon that is gonna show people that there is a drop-down menu that exists. So where's my arrow? I'm gonna go with this arrow. I'm gonna make it smaller and turn it and turn it again. And we'll put it to the right of this weddings area and move it back here. And I'm gonna move this this way and bump everything to the left so that we have a little more space. And I'm also gonna hide this on mobile because this is not gonna work on mobile. So if you actually head to that St. Patrick's website and check it out on mobile, you can see how I made a separate page with all of the navigation links on there. First thing that we need to do is we're gonna add a canvas view. So add a canvas view. And then I'm gonna draw a box. So make this a box and this is the menu that would show up when somebody selects that icon so I am gonna make it green and then I just need to put some links in it so copy and paste this one and move it up here I'm gonna left align it and so if maybe you're a wedding photographer who has weddings in several different areas like you have teams so you could do Atlanta Atlanta weddings. I'm going to drag this and make it bigger. And I'm going to bump this down one font size so it's not quite the same size. And then we could do um, New York City weddings. And then we'll do one more to, how about, no, how about Boston? And hit the check. And then we want to even these out with the spacing and something like that. And then you would link each one of these to their own individual pages. And I'm also gonna turn them all off on mobile 
and then they all need to go into view one. So here in view one, I have all of my items. Actually, I'm going to add another canvas view before view one and the numbers don't actually matter here um, because we want to start with something like this and then we're going to set a click action on this arrow. So this click action is going to do this click action is going to go to canvas and then this canvas and then view two and we'll do the same thing here so maybe instead instead of going to the page we're going to go to a canvas and this canvas and view two and so if we preview it we need to lock that arrow we'll lock it to the side like that it's going to turn it on and we need to lock this as well otherwise we're going to have all of these issues going on so let's come back here and we're going to set this to lock and we'll make sure that all of these are locked and then we want to make sure that this whole canvas probably has a stacking order i'm going to put 10 because we, otherwise it's not going to show up above that video so let's preview it again and click on the arrow and i need to check what this canvas is this must be higher but you can see that it shows up like that um if you want to get the arrow to close when somebody clicks on it again, we can do another thing. I'm going to copy and paste the arrow. I'm going to put it on this view. So we'll say that this is weddings open just so that we don't get confused. And I'm going to turn it around. So use my arrow to turn it. I'm going to move it up. And then in order to hide the one below, we just need to add a little white square. So. Here's my white square. We'll make it really tiny. And I'll make it white. And I'll come in and I'll put it below the icon right there. I mean, maybe a little bit bigger. And then I'll move this guy down. And then we're going to set a click correction here to go back to the first view. So then if we come into preview, and we turn that on you can see that it came on and i need to lock that white box sorry guys so lock this one and then while i'm in here i'm going to see what this view is so this is set to be zero on this individual page i need to make the stacking above that so i'm going to do four and then i'm going to hit preview and then if we do that then we have our our links right here and then if we close it then it goes away and so if you wanted to add a navigation menu to portraits you would do the exact same thing but you would just duplicate this and this would be portraits open you don't even have to name these I'm just doing that to make it easier for you guys and we would drag everything over you would add another arrow and so forth and you would do that as many times as you need in order to create your drop down menu. And again, I'm gonna remind you guys to turn everything off on mobile because, um, like, if we had it all on on mobile, it's just not gonna work the same on mobile. There won't be any space for these navigation items to shift around and it's going to get really confusing and hard for people to read. So check out my example on St. Patrick's website to see how I did that mobile menu with all of the other pages. And so the last way to create a menu is to do something like I did on La Pelosa where you click a button and the whole menu pops out. This is the way we build our navigation menus and then it's also just another fun way to add a menu to a website. Okay, so let's go back to our template. I'm gonna hide this, I'm gonna duplicate it, and then I'm gonna hide this canvas. We need pieces of it, but we don't need all of it. I'm gonna convert it to a page canvas for now, um, just because I don't wanna be flipping back and forth between pages. And let's say that we want this to be centered, and we'll center the text. And then the next thing we're gonna do is add a little button up here that takes us to a pop out. So I'm gonna add a subheading and we'll make this say the menu. And I'm gonna left align that. And then I'm gonna add an icon. So icon, we'll change the color to be dark and show it has a lot built in right at the top. 
and I'm gonna make it smaller and then move it over to the side. And then I want to lock this to the side and I'm gonna lock this one to the side. And on mobile, I'm gonna switch the order a little bit. So that one will go up to the top. Let's put this one right here. And then align that. And so we could do something like this and make it smaller. Uh, okay, next we are gonna add a blank canvas and it's gonna be down at the bottom. I'm gonna make this canvas bigger and I'm gonna give it a color. So let's make this green. And then I'm gonna start adding my links. So this is my link, we'll say home. And I'm gonna change the properties so that it's a navigation. And then I'll just keep adding links. So I'm just copying and pasting on my Mac to create a variety of links. I'm going to align them in the center, make sure they're centered on the screen and distribute them. And then we can type in our words. So home about weddings, looks like I need to make this one bigger and recenter it. Blog contact and make that bigger. Next thing I'm gonna do is add a little icon that is an X to close this canvas. So icon, we'll make it dark. I'm gonna make it an X, which show it also has built in. And then I'll pull it up in the top and I'm gonna make it smaller. So something like that. And then I'm gonna lock this to the side. Okay, and then we can come in and adjust some settings on this canvas as a whole. I want this to take up the whole screen, so I'm gonna say it's window height. I want it to be hidden to start on both desktop and mobile, and I need to set window height again right here. And I want it to be on the top on both things. And I want it to be set to be on the top for both desktop and mobile. And then we want to name this, so pop out menu, and we want it to be set to be a site canvas. And then same with this header up here, we'll turn that into a site canvas. And so once we've done the, that, I can click into my header and I can click on this menu item and we're gonna give it an action to show pop up and then pop out menu. And then this one is gonna get an action to show pop out menu. And so if we hit preview, I need to lock that one. Uh, we can see that it's starting to work. It looks like I need to play with the indexing. So I'm gonna lock this to the side while I'm here. So lock that one. And then I'm gonna come on to this page and I'm gonna give this a Z a stacking order of 99 and hit preview. And then if I click it, then you can see that it is perfectly centered and you have all of your different links turned in here. You'd actually wanna go in and link each of these. I didn't show that step, but I showed that step earlier. So hopefully you guys can figure out how to link to different pages. If you wanted your X to be perfectly in the top, like right now mine is kind of hovering an inch below the top, since we changed the settings on this, um, we can change the locking on this guy. So we can actually set this to lock vertically as well. So I only had it set to lock horizontally, but if I set it to lock vertically, then when I hit preview, oh, preview on a desktop, you'll see it's all the way set right here. I'm not gonna show mobile just because it's the exact same thing that you'd wanna just clean up on mobile, but that is also how you can get your mobile menu to work. And there you have it, three ways to create navigation menus in Show It. If you wanna skip the steps in this video and grab one of our done for you designs, head to daveyandkrista.com shop. We have a collection of seriously easy to update website designs that are ready to just load your content and save you a lot of time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like below and subscribe to our channel to get updates about future videos. And if you have any questions, drop those in the comments below. Thanks guys.